Oh, hello! You caught me in the shower. I don't mean actually having a shower, I mean you actually caught me inside the shower. Terry Peterman, your internet electrician, and I'm here in Costa Rica doing a quick little lighting project. And I'm just putting a shower light in here, and it's going to be connected to my stairwell light. But what I want is to install a photo cell in this circuit, so that if they inadvertently get left on during the day, they're going to shut off and only be on when you need them at night, at a minimum. So. Let's get started with the project. It's an intermatic control, photo control, flush mount with a wall plate. Looks something like this. And in this video, all we're gonna do is focus on how to make those connections. So let's get started. So up at the ceiling here at the bottom of the stairs is where my junction box is gonna be where I'm gonna hook up this photo cell. Enough light gets in here that if someone leaves these on in the daytime, this photo cell will pick that up and shut them off. So they don't need to be on all day, as I mentioned earlier. So what we have here is a three wire coming from the existing stairwell light. So this black and white are gonna be hot when the switches are in the correct position. Then as long as there's no, if it's dark, the photo cell is gonna turn on this red wire go back and turn on that stairwell light as well as my shower light they'll be together so what we have to do neutrals together along with the neutral to the photo cell because its electronic brain needs power so it's going to have power from this neutral connection we're going to splice those three wires together this is the power coming from the stairwell light so it's going to go to the black wire on this photo cell and there again, it's got power. The little electronic circuitry in here is going to say, is it light out or is it dark? And if it's dark, it's going to allow power to pass through onto this red wire. The red wire is going to send power back to the stairwell light on that red wire. And this is my new black wire over to the shower light. So that's how we got to make the splices. Whites, incoming neutral, outgoing neutral to this photo cell and outgoing neutral to the new shower light. Power in to the black and power out on the red wire from the red wire to the red wire going back to the stairwell light and to the shower light. So let's make these connections. So what I didn't mention previously is the two ground wires from each cable. Just splice them together. This is a plastic junction box screwed to wood. So there's nowhere to ground that. So you don't need a pigtail. The photo cell doesn't need a ground wire, so just tuck those back into the back of the box, splice them together, of course. Now we'll deal with our neutrals. Always work from ground to neutral to hot when connecting things up. Just get those started. Make sure those ends are even, which they are, or trim them if they're not. And now we bring in our photo cell that needs a neutral. Bring that neutral into our splice. Spin that wire nut on. And as always, the tug test. Pull on each conductor, make sure they're all biting inside that moret. You can put some tape around that wire nut if you so desire. I usually don't because I know I do a good enough job that that's not coming apart. And if nothing else, the tape will just kind of hide a bad splice. So I really don't believe in taping them if you do it right. All right, now we're going to hook our hot wire to the photo cell. And hot, by hot I mean that it's hot when the switches are in the right position. It's on a three-way switch network. So you got your switches saying, turn on that light. It's going to send power to this photo cell. It's going to say, do I need light? It's still light out. So then it's either going to turn on this red wire if it's dark or leave it off if it's daylight or someone left the switch on overnight. So now we've got to splice our red wire that's on the three wire cable to go back to turn on the stairwell light. Get them started. With two wires only, two solid conductors, you don't really need to pre-twist them together. But I do, usually. 
at least get them started. And when you're adding a third stranded in here, make sure all your ends are even, which they came apart here and are not now. There they are. They're all even. Push them together. If they're not, there, all even. Spin on that wire nut. <laughs> Tug test. And we're ready to put this wires all back into the box and mount this flush mount photo cell on the outlet box. Tuck all those wires back into the box. Kind of goofy little narrow junction boxes, outlet boxes they have here in Costa Rica. Quite common. Do I like them? No. Do I have to use them? Yeah. Because they're available right here at my local little hardware store. Saves a 30 minute run each way to one of the more larger centers here. And even then they might not have them. Okay, and we've got a, it's a gasketed plate here with even little O-rings on the screws. Not that it's required up in here because no moisture, get, well, a little bit of humidity gets up into here, but no real moisture, so. And as I tighten that screw, it actually pushing out the little o-ring so not sure how you'd ever get that to stay in there in a watertight situation where you needed to make it watertight so you would take a little more care if it wasn't that it's not going to be exposed to any any direct rain here so there you have it how to hook up a flush mount photo cell photo control like i said i'm just focusing on that aspect of this little project the rest is fairly straightforward two wires over to my shower light and hook the power back up and make the correct splices at the existing stairwell lights. So thanks for watching. Terry Peterman, your internet electrician, helping you do it right, do it safely, and save some money. Until next time.